Continuing now with number 31. Number 31 states, use the diagram below to answer question 31. The diagram here, we'll see we have a rectangle, and the rectangle part is shaded, part is unshaded. Shown above is a rectangle with a shaded trapezium and an unshaded triangle. The area of the shaded trapezium is 210 centimeters square. Calculate the area of the unshaded triangle. So, what we need to calculate first is the area of the entire rectangle. So, area of rectangle is equal to the length multiplied by the width, which is equal to 21 cm, multiplied by 12 centimeters, which is equal to 252 centimeters square. Always remember area is in square units. To calculate the area of the unshaded portion, you take the total area, which we know is 252 centimeters square. Take away the area of the known shaded part here, which is 210 centimeters squared, and it will get an answer of 42 centimeters squared. 42 centimeters squared is the area of the unshaded triangle. And the marks are awarded. We'll get one for calculating the total area, one for calculating the answer, which is 42. A machine can wrap 105 sweets in 50 seconds. How many sweets can be wrapped in 5 minutes? So we know now 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute. So we know now we have 5 minutes. So therefore we are dealing with seconds and minutes. We need to convert to 1 unit. So 5 minutes is equal to 5 multiplied by 60 which is equal to 300 seconds so you know now in 50 seconds you'll wrap 105 sweets so we need to calculate how many sets of 50 seconds we could get from 300 seconds so sets of 50 it is equal to 300 divided by 50 which is equal to 6 sets. To calculate now the number of sweets, in one set of 50, you will be able to wrap 105 sweets. So therefore, in 6 sets of 50, it's 105 multiplied by 6, which is equal to 630 sweets. So the answer is 630 sweets. Marks are awarded, you'll get 1 for computing the minutes to seconds, 1 for finding out the amount of sets, and 1 for calculating the total answer there. Number 33, the perimeter of the irregular shape shown is 54 centimeters. Calculate the length of x. So, you know now when you add all the sides, perimeter is the distance around, so therefore when you add the, all the, the lengths of all the sides, you will get 54 centimeters. So to calculate length of x, it is equal to 54 centimeters. Take away the sum of the known sides, which is equal to 12 cm plus 3 cm plus 5 cm plus 3 cm plus 10 cm plus 4 cm plus 15 cm. Therefore, the answer will be 2 cm. Javier purchased two bags and one bottle. The cost of one bag is $31.20. The cost of one bottle is $11.40. He paid with the following bills. Calculate the amount of change he would receive. So first we need to calculate the total spent. So two bags is equal to $31.20 multiplied by 2, which is equal to $62.40. So 
so to calculate the total spent it is equal to the 6240 in bags plus the $11.40 in 40 bottle which will give you a total of $73.80 he paid with the following notes and I would like to know the amount of change he would receive so first we need to calculate what is the total on notes here so to calculate the change it will be the total notes which is equal to 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 10 plus 5 which is equal to 75 dollars and therefore 75 dollars taken away now the 73 dollars and 80 cents which was the total spent and therefore you will end up with one dollar and twenty cents in change number 35 well number 34 the marking scheme we'll get one for the change one for calculating the total spent and one for calculating the amount for the bags or it could be two marks for the total spent if you add it up all in one there so if you get either two for total spent and one for the change number 35 what solids form the items below we have a drum and we have an aquarium the drum now is a cylinder and the aquarium is a cuboid which of the triangles below have at least two angles that are equal at least two angles that are equal therefore it will be a c and d which triangle above has the most lines of symmetry it will be c because that is an equilateral triangle what type of triangle is triangle b that is a scaling triangle because no sides are equal Sheldon moves from point A to point B in a clockwise direction. How many quarter turns did he move? So he moved from A to B and therefore he remained with a 90 degrees here that is formed. So the total angles in a circle is equal to 360 degrees. So which is equal to four one quarter turns if one one quarter turn remained therefore four take away the one that remained which is equal to three one quarter turns number 38 the table below shows the number of runs Rihanna scored in four cricket matches. Calculate the mean number of runs scored. So before we can calculate the mean, we need to calculate the total. So total is equal to 92 plus 150 plus 200 plus 50, which will give us a total of 492. To calculate the mean or the average, you take the total and divide it by the amount of numbers or games in this in this um question. So therefore it is 492 divided by 4, which is equal to 123. Marks are awarded. One mark for calculating total, one mark for calculating the mean. Use the tally table be, uh, below to answer the following questions. Jerry sold the fruits listed above for the price shown. Apples he sold for $1.50 each. Pears he sold for $0.75 cents each. And oranges he sold for $2.25 each. Which fruit did he earn the most amount of money in sales? So 
what we need to calculate now is the amount of money earned for each fruit. So for pear, well, for pears, because as the first up, um, fruit here, we sold 11 pears. So it is 11 pears multiplied by the cost of one pear, which is equal to 75 cents. So therefore, the total earned is $8.25. The second is apples. Apples now is equal to six apples sold at $1.50 each. So it is six multiplied by 150, which is equal to $9. And then we have the oranges. Oranges now, it is three sold and it is $2.25 each. So therefore that is $6.75. From here now we observe the data and see which one he sold, he earned the most. So therefore it is apples. Marks are awarded for two marks for getting the working done here and one mark for the correct answer. Number 40. The pictograph below shows the number of pupils who play different sports for their school. The sports here number of pupils. Which sport do you think will cost the school the least amount of money? Give a reason for your answer. Well, I will say basketball. Well, no, sorry, baseball. I will say baseball because it is played by the least number of pupils. Only two sets of um, people representing the graphic here play baseball. So, baseball. Because it is played by the least number of pupils. And that is the end of section 2.